What would happen if you fell into quicksand? As a kid, I was always petrified of quicksand. It was in so many movies and TV shows, and obviously I'd never been anywhere that I'd be in danger of quicksand, but still, it was a scary thought. It also led me to wonder, what would happen if you actually fell in quicksand? And I'm finally getting to the bottom of it. If you've ever wondered the same thing as me, well, join me as I explain to you what would happen if you fell into quicksand. Hello again and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer all those burning questions you may have. Today's question, of course, is what would happen if you fell into quicksand? Before we jump into it, I want to know if you've ever had a fear of quicksand, or if you've ever dealt with it in the first place. As I mentioned growing up, it scared me to death. But thankfully, to this day, I haven't come across any, and now I have the knowledge of how to handle such a disaster. Be sure to subscribe so you guys never miss a video, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this question. I'll also be responding to some comments from a previous video at the end of this one, but let's sink into it. So what is quicksand even made of? Well, it's a mixture of sand and water that looks solid until it's disturbed, aka until you step in it. But unlike the movies and TV shows that scared me silly, it's actually kind of hard to die in quicksand. Actually, it's impossible. The way it works is if you do step in it and start to sink, you won't go all the way down. You'll eventually stop sinking when you get to your chest. Now there's a popular belief that the more you struggle to get out, the deeper in the sand you'll go. Well this isn't so true either. Yes, if you struggle and move around a lot, you will sink more, but you'll never be completely submerged. The reasoning behind this is that quicksand is more dense than the human body, which is why when you're stuck in it, you're told to lean back to help you get out. Now you might be thinking, why would I lean back? Wouldn't that just make it easier for me to sink? Nope. Turns out you'd actually float, much like when you're in water, and by leaning Leaning back, you're increasing your chances of getting out on your own. If you just stand and do nothing, the sand eventually hardens and makes it much harder to free yourself. But falling in quicksand can be deadly if you're stuck near some hungry predators or a massive wave comes over you and takes you away. Of course, this rarely happens, but unfortunately it has happened in the past. There's also the possibility that you could have trouble breathing, because if you're submerged to your chest, almost like a snake, this sand can make it harder and harder for you to breathe every time you exhale, depending how liquefied it is when you fall in. So to wrap up, up. Seems like quicksand isn't as scary as I once thought. Although it can be deadly given the circumstance, if you just relax and lean back, you could probably pull yourself out. Besides, most of the time quicksand really isn't even that deep, maybe a few centimeters. But still, I wouldn't mess around with it, because if you're at the wrong place at the wrong time, and a tide or a hungry animal sees the top of your head sticking out, well, you might not be so lucky. If you're ever caught in a situation though, aside from calling for help, it is best to stay calm, which of course is easier said than done, but here's to hoping none of us are ever in such a situation. And on that note, well, let's brighten things up with some comments, shall we? In the video, what if our son was a red giant? The only shiny Umbreon said, normally, videos like these terrify me, but there's something common about the background music. Well, if our voices don't do it for you, hopefully the music can help you relax. I try to speak in a pretty calm, relaxing tone, but I don't know, I guess sometimes my personality comes out and it's not so calm and relaxing, and more so energetic and fun, cause I'm a fun guy. Chas and Brown said, if two vegetarians fight, is it still called a beef? I don't know why it's called beef in the first place. Maybe because beef is considered tough and when you fight somebody you're tough. I don't know. I've never been in a fight so I guess I'm not tough. But I think that'd be a great question for us to answer. What would you guys think? Would you want an answer to that? If two vegetarians fight, is it still called beef? Let us know in the comments down below. Javier Delgado said, what if social media never existed? It's actually a great question as well. I'm not sure if the channel's covered it because I am fairly new here. But personally, I think if social media never existed, we wouldn't connect as, uh, as well as we do. I guess online. Maybe there'd be better human interaction in person because We'd be less glued to our phones and technology and dependent on being up to date with what's going on and you know more focused on the now and being present in the moment. It's a great question though. Sean Mustang said, what if superheroes exist? That's a joke, right? You know they're real, right? And on that note guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe so you guys never miss a video. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys feel like we informed you here today and you guys know what to do if you're ever caught in quicksand, which hopefully none of you guys ever will be. And we'll see you in the next video. I've been your host Jared Bronstein and keep questioning everything my friends.